yes fellow ambazonians <clears throat> um sorry i have been having some difficulties to come online today as i promised i'll be i said i'll be here at eight o'clock but it's almost half past eight so uh please uh just share share the link let's get people on board before i unveil the package of what i have to present to you guys today i'm very sorry i apologize for being late uh these people are really working tirelessly hard to prevent us from coming out with informations mm -hmm. like this so please share the link and share the link wide let's get started when the house is full share the link ambazonian honestly uh to read the time short and uh, these are the things that we're supposed to be talking about at this moment and uh, i will go even out of protocol today to give ambazonian people information that they need to know about the struggle so the long-awaited southern cameroonian referendum is the key focus of my conversation today is the key news that i want to break out to the ambazonian people share this link and share this link now on whatsapp groups share it let's get people on board and we 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 we, we discuss we talk about this issue so um as usual anyway i will put on our, our anthem and we wait for the, the audience to come on please share let's get at least 100 people here and we are talking about something very important the referendum is here the referendum we have been fighting for is now on the table so we have to talk about it many comrades from different platforms have contacted me today for the very first time even francophone activists that i have never contacted i have no links to have been calling and contacting me because they have seen what i'm talking about and they have been trying to to bend the story they have been trying to to redeem themselves but tonight is the night that i'm going to put the information out to the people as it is as a common man i will talk about the things of this referendum what has been going on those who have been working against our success in this struggle and pretending to be our friends tonight is the night so share this link and share the link also many ambassadors have been contacting me and uh, they have been talking about this issue like okay this stuff i said okay don't worry in the evening i will put the information mm -hmm. out so mm -hmm. thank you comrades that you are here um, uh, my mm -hmm. senior mm -hmm. comrade doris nick please share the link i will not be for so long i think i will talk for perhaps 30 minutes and that would be that would be that would be the, the end of it so share and invite people let's let's put this information out so i'll put the anthem and we wait for a few people to join us hail, hail this land of glory with the ambazonians flesh and loyalty Praise the Son, our Savior, who granted us our freedom. Allegiance to the hero who bore the land with your blood. Glory to glory, we rise to never to fall. Yeah, we a nation flowing with milk and honey. Glory, glory, glory to the Father for making you a nation and joy forevermore. Ambazonia, land of freedom, you shall live in plenty, meet in our needs, our needs, and your children shall be like the stars above. The most I God be the watchman of the nation. Ambazonia, land of freedom, you shall live in plenty, meet in our needs. Needs, our needs, and your children shall be like the stars above. The most I God be the watchman of the nation. Fellow comrades, fellow comrades, fellow comrades, fellow Ambazonians, fellow Ambazonians, people of the land of milk and honey, people of the former British Cameroons, I greet you all, comrades. Tonight is a very special night. I come to you with joy and happiness. I come to you one of those messages that I have dreamt that I have the privilege to bring to my people. And today I have been, I have been blessed by God. This is an honor, 
a divine honor to talk about this and to present this issue to you guys. I, I am very, very, very happy. And I want Ambazonians to listen to me tonight, not only with their head, like I always said, with their heart as well. Because this struggle have gone past the level that we are talking with our heads only. We must use our hearts because these are the times when your wife will be the enemy of this struggle and you have to be bold enough to expose her. These are the times when your brother, your cousin, your sister, your friend, your, your, your chairman will be the enemy of this struggle. And when they will be exposed, you have to stand for the truth. These are the times and we are at that moment. The level that we are at the moment, you will be shocked and surprised of who is the enemy and who is working against the people. We are at that stage now. Listen, when you start a marathon race, for example, at the beginning, everybody will be running on the same pace. But when the marathon goes far, you will see those who are real runners in the race. We are at that time when we are seeing the re-marathon people from Ambazonia. This is a time when you will be surprised of who are working for the enemy and what are they standing for. Ambazonians, please today I will share this message to you guys. I will bring this issue out today and this is um, something that to some people they consider to be very confidential information, but I'm going to give it out tonight and face the consequences and bear the, the Bronx, every, anything that is going to fall upon me because of this message, I'm going to put it out tonight. And once again, our boys on the ground, we thank them for their um, restless, their, 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 uh, their effort, their commitment, their tenacity, and they are sacrificing their lives and we in the diaspora must be ready to do the same. And I will say this, that if any person at this moment, if you are not willing to go to prison or to die for this struggle, you toe the line, you stand aside. Let those who are willing to give their life take forward and go and take our struggle to ground zero. Um, fellow Ambazonians, I always like to make my presentation by telling Ambazonians the basic things. We look at the international community, what has been going on around us. Tonight, I'm going to talk about the United Nations referendum for Southern Cameroons. Don't ask me that, where are you getting this information? I will not expose our sources, but from our contacts, from diplomacy, we have been working very hard. Recently, I am not speaking for the AGC. I'm not speaking for any group, but recently, the AGC have been out there in Africa and around the world with their diplomacy. I applaud their effort. The IG is pushing as well with their diplomacy. The scoop are pushing away with their diplomacy. Everybody, they are pushing away. They're pushing forward their diplomacy. I applaud their effort. And we have three countries that are on our side. Our not they are not our friends anymore. We are now a contender in the eye. Mm -hmm. And I will explain a bit more about this issue to make Ambazonia a contender. And I will make you guys an example of this. So um Ambazonians, Ambazonians, Ambazonians. The Southern Cameroonians referendum is here. It's now here. The process has started. That is the thing we have to talk about today. We have been informed, collectively informed, confidentially informed that that is on the table at the moment. And they, um, this is happening during this time that the UN is having a human rights session in, 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 in Geneva. And there is a presentation from the republic and this include our own very people who come and sympathize with us and they have been working with this from the very start ambazonians let us reason let us i'll take you people step by step and we come to my end point message tonight when mr bia won his election last year we didn't see the francophones on the street rioting against his election they never did when we saw the francophones, the citizens of the Republic coming out and contesting against the election was because of a particular motive that they are selling, it was because of a particular mission they were running. Mm -hmm. It was not because it was not because of that election, it is because of starting Cameroonian crisis. It is because of our struggle, because they knew, because they were informed, because they were made to understand that Southern Cameroon is going. They were made to understand that the UN is making a referendum, they cooked up an agenda to sabotage that. 
Let me make this very simple and clear for those who don't understand because I may be speaking not in simple um, terms. Now, why do you think, why would the United Nations give us a referendum? This is a million dollar question. For some of us, it's very easy. But to the international community, it's very difficult. We take, for example, the case of Southern Sudan. Do you know why the United Nations gave them a referendum? It was not because they fought for, for, for 20 years. It was because the United Nations saw, or it was evidentially clear, it was abundantly clear, that these two people cannot live together. It was very clear to the UN that the two populations can never live together. And that is why the UN thought and concluded that the only solution for peace is to separate them. When we started this struggle, we started to expose to the UN that we cannot live together with a republic. When we defeated them for two years, this year, they took an approach to sabotage our effort for two years to change the narrative that the government, the regime is a problem. The two Cameroonians can live together. They did that by selling their activists, selling their people as if they are coming to expose their regime. But they were doing this to sabotage and to stop to stop our success in diplomacy, to stop the process of a referendum. This, their guy, they call him Patrice Nyanga, what is his name? They have the audacity to have gone to the UN. They have submitted letters to the United Nations. La Republic activists, they have, their, they have a movement that we are not following, most of us. And this movement is a movement that they say they are fighting against the sardines, anti-sardines, they call it in French. Because they, they know that they are, their citizens are sardines people. So they have anti-sardines movement. This anti-sardine movement have led the delegation to the UN. And they are compelling the UN that the problem is not, um, uh, um, uh, 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 it's not the Southern Cameroons, it's the regime. They are telling the regime that they should give them the time to take out the Mr. Bia so they can take on power and define solution with Amazonians. These people have used us. They come in our clothes. They come like sympathizers, like Amazonians. I will explain how they plot this process and put it together to our people to understand what is going on. Let us not be deceived. The Cameroon people, the citizens of La Republic Cameroon, when I say Cameroon, I mean the citizens of La Republic Cameroon, are running a mission that has been sponsored by France. Listen, let me tell you for something. Do you know the symbol? Do you know what it means to burn an embassy of the top, top diplomatic country of another nation? Do you know what it means to say that Cameroonian citizens in Paris destroy the embassy of Cameroon in Paris? Do you know the, the impact of that particular act? Do you know why they succeeded to do that? Do you think it was because they were rioting, because they were so passionate about that issue that they went in? No, because the French government allowed them to do that. Because they wanted to show something by that act. Listen, listen, let me tell you something. France is the highest country that stands behind Cameroon. It's like their mother. You can go and burn Cameroon embassy in France, uh, in, uh, for example, in, in Thailand or in, in, uh, in India or something, in some countries, but not in France, not in Paris, not in Paris. The French government allowed them to destroy their embassy in France to show the world something else. Listen, hmm, what I'm talking here is to some, to some Amazonians, it's, uh, it's very difficult for them to get. But our people need to wake up. We need to wake up now from sleep. Wake up and sit up top correctly. Recently, the Cameroon government, Minister of Justice, or what is his name, went on TV, on TV, national TV, and he was openly making reference of the Nazis Germany and referring to the people of of of, of um, Cam Camcho. Do you think that that was an accident? Listen, a government official, a state man of his caliber will never go on TV and pro make such pronouncement without the regime behind him. The Cameroon government is very smart. This um, uh, Momo man, yes, mm -hmm. it's very smart Cameroon government. They send their diplomat to go on TV and create such a sabotage. So they can use that information to show the world that you see, 
these people also in the in the east are also attacked by the regime it's not only the anglophones some amazonians were thinking that oh that guy is he make a very big mistake a stupid minister this and that no 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 don't be confused amazonia don't be confused when we see those things we must look what is behind listen even when the american ambassador came out and spoke against cameroon they said uh, this ambassador listen no diplomat no state man speak like that when they are not the engineer by their country you can't betray your country on that platform it doesn't happen the cameroon government with france are working an anti-referendum project anti-referendum project which is to say that the, it is not only the amazonians that are suffering in cameroon but the entire cameroon population is suffering the entire Cameroon population is suffering, not only Ambazonians. Why do you think Mr. Bia is keeping Kamcho in prison? It's because he has our leaders in prison. It's because he has our leaders in prison. That's why he have Kamcho in prison. Kamcho have no business to do there. And it's a stage work also. It's a stage work. It's a stage propaganda. Ambazonians need to know. We need to know and we need to refrain from these individuals. We need to refrain from them. We need to refrain from them. Listen, the French government is seriously working hard to stop our referendum. And when the United Nations brought this issue up in their closed door Security Council meeting, the, propa the propaganda from France was that this issue is not about Anglophones, that the entire Cameroon is suffering. They were saying in that meeting that we are even the most developed part of the country, that there is no schools, there are not roads in other parts of Cameroon, but we have developed roads and cities and universities. Ambazonians, this struggle don't change. The dance don't change. Now we must dance, different dance. We must make Ambazonia a contender. Our referendum is on the table, but now they are confused. The UN is confused. How should they organize this referendum? Who should be included? Because the Francophones are saying that they should be involved in a referendum if they have to organize a referendum in Cameroon. Because they are also suffering. Which allies. Which allies. Now, let me say something. Let me say something here. Let me say something. The people of Israel, the people of Israel become a contender. They become a contender. And the American government saw that these are people we can trust. And they came behind them, gave them every resources they needed to stand on their own and to be a sovereign country. And they are fighting today and they stand by their feet because they were a contender. When we mean a contender, what do we mean? We mean a united people. This is something that I will send this message also to the AGC people and Dr. Ayabacho himself and our leaders. You cannot make Ambazonia a contender when we are not united. You are only a contender when you have a united front. When you have a united leadership, you become a contender. When the international community can trust you, they can function with you like a state. And I'm going to push also one of my proposal risks that I have been talking about. We must start to open Southern Cameroonian mission, Ambazonian mission in all diaspora. All. We need to open an Ambazonian mission in Finland, Ambazonian mission in Brussels, Ambazonian mission in every di um, di diaspora country. You don't need to be independent before you have a, a, an embassy. You can have a mission without being independent. That's still functional at the embassy. It is under international law. We have to do these things. We must become a contender. We must become a contender, and that is what we need to do at this particular moment. So unity is very, very, very vital. I go back to Israel. Israel fought tit by tit with their enemies. They, they, won, they won battles, they lost some of them. And the American government saw that these people are serious to be independent. These people are serious to, of their right to self-determination, to create their nation, and to establish themselves as a people. The American government just listen. America did not. America did not. Um, America did not um, just go to support Israel by themselves or something like that. No, it was because the Israelite people, the Jewish people, showed to the Americans that they are a contender. 
that they can be a nation that you can trust. They can do diplomatic businesses with you. They can trade. They have a, an economy. They have a financial department. They have they have every symbol that the country needs. So now, our referendum is on the table. The United Nations is talking about our referendum. But Amazonia is not a contender. Amazonia is not united. Amazonians are falling in the traps of a plot by France. And we are joining alliances with the Francophones activists. Do you know that these guys have went to the UN and submitted a document against our referendum? Do you know that this same Patrice Nyanga, this guy, if, 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 if that man have courage, you come out and I have him live on Facebook and I prove to him what they are doing. They thought that we will not discover their evil jobs. They go out and they are talking about um, um, solidarity with Anglophones and they go around. But they go behind our backs to submit documents in the UN against our moves. These people have been contacted by their colonial masters and they are going on a regime change in the country and they are going with our vote they are what they want to do that with the blood of ambazonians they are taking our blood to to to, to campaign for their regime change and for them to be in power listen francophones are so corrupt to their bones if you trust them you are a dead man you are a dead man. These people can never be trusted. Never you trust like the public citizens. Amazonians, we should never trust these people because they are so corrupt that it will take a century to cleanse them. These people, they come around. I was, I have been seeing them around coming to show solidarity, talking about Amazonia. But they are preaching for a united Cameroon, not even a federation. A united Cameroon, not even a federation. Not even a federation. They are preaching for United Cameroon at the UN. That's what they are preaching. France government is behind that so-called anti-Sardine movement of Francophones. It's a sabotage movement to destroy our struggle. They gave them entrance into the United into the Paris embassy of, of Cameroon to burn the embassy, and they were watching. Listen, Amazonians, if the French government was not behind those people, they would have put in 50 of them in prison. They would not be in the embassy. They would not be, did you see our people? Did they go to the British, to the Cameroon embassy in, uh, in, in, in UK? They didn't give them access. Listen, do you know what it means to burn an embassy of a country in their number one diplomatic um, friend? Do you know what that means? You cannot do that. You can't. You can never do that if you are not sponsored by that country. You cannot burn Cameroon embassy in France if France is not behind you. You will never do it. You will never do it. So Ambazonians must not be distracted by their stupid moves. That they burn the embassy is a stage game work. It's a stage game work to deceive the international community and to portray that Southern Cameroons and Francophones are all suffering because of Mr. Bia. It's a stage work. They are, listen, I said this thing some time ago, this Kamcho man. Kamcho is the next the Republic president. They want to put Kamcho there. Let me tell you for this thing here. Whether you people take it serious or you don't take it serious, Kamcho is the next Cameroon president. That Kamcho, you see him there like that. But in order for them to put Kamcho in that place, they must solve us. They must destroy our struggle first. And then they can put their next person. They want to destroy us first before they put Kamcho. So Kamcho is just a stage work with them together and France. Magu, magu, magu playing around. Amazonians, we must understand these things. That's why... Let the APNC come together. Let our people come for conferences. Let, we need to meet together and come together and be united. We must create a united leadership structure and put forward. Listen, this referendum needs one thing from our Ambazonians. It needs leadership. We must have a leadership and a committee that will draft the, 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 the necessity and the modalities of that referendum. Who is going to vote and how would that vote going to be conducted? Who are going to involve the international communities? We need to come together and put these things together on a sheet of paper and then take it to the UN. 
This issue is already there. Mr. Bian knows very well. Kamcho knows very well. Sad fully, this stupid Akeremona doesn't know. Akeremona is, is blind from the reality. Because they can't make him see this, know this kind of stuff. He can't. Patrice Nyanga knows. All the other big Francophone activists, they are aware. Their game is to put their next president, destroy Amazonian struggle, and keep one United Cameroon. That's why we must we must fortify the national AK campaign. We must fortify the national AK campaign. Because if I'm saying this thing to every Amazonians, if we fail is in convincing the UN in our diplomacy for a referendum, we will not fail on AK for the same on the ground. When the ground is talking, they will speak. Listen, there's another way. If the referendum they are playing a political game with the referendum. We can bleed them on ground zero until they give up. And when they give up, we put our tie on and step to the UN and take our land. That's another way, and that is the hard way. But we must focus on that. Ground zero must be fortified. The national AK campaign must be intensified. It must be done. It must be done. So, we must look at this thing. Yes. Look at the amount of money these people are putting in and one of the things that they are doing, Amazonians. This, I asked the question from the beginning. Why should the UN give us a referendum when they can see that the two Cameroons are living together as friends? We are in love together. We are eating with them on the same plate and we are calling for separation. They will not give us. They will not. We must prove to the international community that these people are our enemies. That our enemy is not only the Mr. Behind the regime, is that the Francophones themselves hate Amazonians. That is what we need to push to the world, and then we get a referendum. Listen, in, in Eritrea and, and, and Ethiopia, I'll make an example here. The UN and the international community was able to see the hatred between the two communities. When the Ethiopian government declared that um, er, er, they, they are war with Eritrea, listen, people who were living in Ethiopia were Eritrean, they live immediately, they left behind their families, and their families' kids were not even taken, in, taken care of. They, they end up in the street in Ethiopia. They, they end up on the street in Ethiopia. The government of Ethiopia completely didn't have any regard for those kids. And those things were evident. In South Sudan, it was the same. The two countries was evidentially clear that they can't live together. They are enemies, not only um, uh, the regime. But in Southern Cameroon and the Republic, we are telling the UN that we cannot live together. We must go. And at the same time, our, their people are sponsoring our refugees in Nigeria. The same times, our people are defending their guys in their court. In the same times, our people are sitting with them and talking in a meeting. We are, are we serious to separate? Do we want to separate from them? Listen, the UN will not separate us if they don't see the humanitarian side of it. These human rights issues are very clear. Amazonians, we must draw a clear line between us and Francophones. If we don't do that, we are going to delay our own freedom. And now, more than ever before, they want friendship. You see all kinds of Francophones are coming up and are showing solidarity to every person. They are showing solidarity to us. Give us some chicken change to our refugees and this stuff. They are taking our people into their, their territories. This has to stop. Amazonians, our people who are internally displaced cannot run to the Republic. Why our, 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 our refugees are running from the enemy? You are going instead to their house? You are going into instead to their homes. Somebody is coming to kill you from your house. You leave your own house and you are running. You are going into their own house. Is that a threat? Is that really a threat? We must show that there is a threat. There is a danger. That's why we are running. And we can't run into the arms of the enemy. But Amazonians are running into the arms of the enemy. We are running into the arms of our own enemy. This is what is going on. This is what is going on. So at the moment, the United Nations has been very clear in the corridors of diplomacy to the Cameroon government. They have a deadline. This March ending, 
we must know what is going to happen to our leaders. That's the deadline. And after that is the issue of a referendum. Listen, listen very well. We must come together, put ourselves together, put our stuff together, and put out our demands on this referendum. If not, these looters of the Republic are going to join in and destroy our struggle. Ambazonians must understand that all those so-called Francophones activists, Cam Cho himself and some Anglophones who have been who have Ambazonians who have been blinded of the reality, going with the Francophones um, uh, notion of this struggle. They are killing our struggle. Our biggest enemy are those Francophones. Are those Francophones. And they are not by themselves. I'm saying this thing, Amazonians. If they were just doing this thing by themselves, we can say, okay, these people are just doing something. They are sponsored by France. France is behind them. So this is not a mission about them. This is about France. Mm -hmm. We are fighting France in Cameroon and we need to know this. We need to know this. We need to know that our enemy is France, not even those people. France give them the access to step into the embassy and destroy the embassy in Paris to make them Australian in Paris and they go free. Listen, we must wake up, Ambazonians. We must intensify. Honestly, this national AK campaign needs to go seriously up strong. And at the moment also, we are under investigation. We are under investigation. The UN is, in, is, is investigating our crimes that they are, they, they is reported that we are being, we are being committed by some armor boys. The um, uh, Human, um, uh, Human Rights Watch is, is also investigating. Amnesty International is, in, is investigating. We must stop all those things. Because now the narrative is that it is the Amber boys against the regime and the population is suffering in between. The narrative has to be that the population is the one demanding for their freedom, not only some few Amber boys. But because, the, the, because of this issue that we have some inc incidents that our people have been harmed by some unknown gang who are pretending to be Amber boys, and now we have been portrayed as the enemy. We have been portrayed as the enemy. And that has to stop. The IG with their local government county by county movement, the IG must control their boys on the ground. Every armed defense group must control their boys on the ground. Ayabacho must control his boys. Akwangwa, Dr. Kwanga must control his boys on the ground. We do not want to have any casualty of civilians that are reportedly coming on any link to Southern Cameroons. Not now that the UN is already talking about our referendum. Listen, I wish I can dis I can I can expose certain information here, but I can't. I wish I can expose them. I wish I can expose certain information on this issue of a referendum. We must take it serious. Listen, I will not come here to talk about something which is not coming from a reliable source, from a government source. I will not. I will not. And Ambazonians, I am not a pastor. I'm not going to talk about a miracle here. This is a very hard journey we have to go into. So what I am saying, it is, I'm just complying, I'm just transferring the message to our people. But I have to say it without exposing relevant information. Our boys on the ground have to be ordered. They have to be structured. They have to be, we don't want any more of those things that are, we are hearing. Because there are serious investigation going on as this struggle is moving forward. Serious investigation about the killings, about the kidnappings, about the lootings, about the, 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 the things that are not up for the struggle. And the Francophones are the ones leading this campaign. They are leading this campaign and they are going forward to say that we are fighting against our own people and we are putting our people in between. Mm -hmm. Ambazonians, we are very close to the finish line. When you see leaders are coming out and uh, they are saying that we are free and for sure we are free. Yes, we are free. Let me tell you why we are free. It's just a matter of mm -hmm. visibility. The two Cameroons can never be together again. Not possible. It's never going to happen. 
The two cameras are already out. We are already in the political process to finalize things. We don't want to come, come out of Cameroon and become like the next um, uh, Western Sahara or Somaliland that we have a territory and we have no recognition. Recognition comes from the UN. And we, in order to get the UN recognition, we must become a contender on the international stage. We must show a leadership. We must show a united army. We must show a united people to become a contender on the international stage and we can get recognition. So we can get everything we need, but we need to become a contender. At the moment, at the moment, we are at the very early stage of the referendum, which is the stage one. What kind of referendum are we talking about? That's what they're asking now. Do we make a referendum for the Francophones included or only for Amazonians? What are the moralities of that referendum? That is what they are talking about now. And they need a push from us to come out. And we must show that push in what I am saying today. We must distance ourselves from Francophones. We must start to tell the world now that we are not fighting Cameroon regime. We are fighting the entire Francophone society. The entire of Cameroon, not only Bia. If we don't show that we are slowing down this process. Let no Francophone activists, I will put this out to all my Southern Cameroonian activists. I know that we have been making some political calculations before. I will say this that um, uh, Mark Barata, um, uh, Eric Tato, Tapang Ivo, all the names, Kapo Daniel, all the likes, and everyone, David Makango, please, we must distance ourselves from La Republic people. It should be, it is very detrimental that any Francophone person can mention an Amazonian name on their interview or in any place where they go. They should never be able to even mention our name. That is what we need to obtain. They, our name should never be referenced by, of, for them by in any means. But if the Francophones can peacefully sit and call our names. Today when I was coming to talk live, some of these people have never talked to them. They were calling me today and they were talking nonsense. That, do you want to start a war between Francophones and Anglophones? Why you want to, to, to talk about this stuff now and these things? Why are you atta attacking the Francophones? I am not saying that, I am not starting a xenophobic war, no. But we are not the same people and we must show it. We must show it. We must show it. We are not starting a xenophobic war, but we must expose to the world that it is not only Bia that is against Southern Cameroonians. It is entire, the entire Francophones. We should call them by their names that they are. We should call them by their names. How many times did they go out and demonstrate when they kill Southern Cameroonians? How many times did they come out and speak when our people are dying? They came out only when they shot some of their friends at the legs. They came out. Francophones should never call our names in any of their meetings. They should be distant. I mean, we should, we should, we should generate a movement of fear and, and a, 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 a movement of horror that they, if they, they, they even think about Amazonians, they have nightmares. If they even think about Amazonians, they should have nightmares. We cannot be calling for for, for a divided Cameroon and we are sleeping on the same bed with the people we want to divide from. We cannot be calling for a divided uh, uh, independent Southern Cameroons and we are receiving money and we are allowing our, 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 our refugees to be fed by Francophones. And they use those things in their documents that they send to the UN. Kamcho have been sending documents to the UN how he's feeding Southern Cameroonians in Nigeria. Humanitarian aid coming from them. Look at this, this, this one is here, Padias, Padias and says, uh, this is one of these, these people as well. Listen, Padias and what you call yourself, Southern Cameroon will be independent. Southern Cameroon will have no federation. The people like you who are even talking for a federation, we shall beat you hand down in a referendum. I invite you, Mr. Padias and all the federalists, join us on board. Join us on board. Let's fight for a referendum. Let's call a referendum that is only for Southern Cameroons. And then we campaign. Padiasan, you will run your campaign for a federation. And I will run a campaign for independence. And we see who is going to win on a clear democratic vote. 
I am not an enemy to any federalists. I will call on federalists to join those of us for independence on a mission to call for a referendum only. And a referendum only for Southern Cameroons, not a referendum including the Republic citizens. And I would like to run a campaign about this party as and who's coming here and, and talking nonsense. I would like to put on a campaign stage. We run a campaign about um, independence and federation. You will run for your federation and I will run a campaign for independence and we, we will win you people like in broad daylight, hands down. And Ambazonians, our worst enemies are Francophones. They are not even those federalists. Our worst enemies are the French citizens of Cameroon. Because they are not selling a message even for federation, they are selling a message for a united Cameroon. So we must distance ourselves from them. We must distance ourselves from these people. Our referendum is already on the table. We are pushing hard for this dialogue. And I will just use this opportunity to say the APNC conference should go on. Let them have the conference. People should go there and let them discuss. There's a conference coming up um, organized by Dr. Fontaine. I encourage Amazonians to come there. We come together. We put these things together. After this, we take these documents. We are going to open face another level of this diplomacy. A new level of diplomacy will be coming up after these conferences. And that is when we shall finally nail the line. We shall nail the line. Why do Southern Cameroon, why do we need a referendum? Why should the UN give us a referendum? Is it because we are running from the Cameroon government? Is it because the two Cameroons cannot live together anymore? Is it because of the illegality of the article, um, um, uh, resolution 1608? These are the questions we need to answer at the UN. I will not even block the Padia Sang or let him to be here and be talking. You know? Padia Sang, I believe in debate, my friend. I believe in debate, but I, Padia Sang, I'm happy that this referendum is coming. I will, I will campaign in Tiko, in Mutengene, all those CDC areas, Miselele, I will campaign and climb up to Boya, in Munya, all our people there, we shall campaign. Listen, we shall campaign when the referendum come for this referendum vote. Padia Sang and your delegation, I would like you to campaign for your federation, and we, we shall see the victory on the board. Another time, we shall shake hands in Boya. But until then, Padia Sang, you are a comrade. And I call on you to join us if you truly love your people. Let us call for a referendum. And let the referendum decide the future of Southern Cameroons. But now we cannot be sleeping and the Republic is working with France and they are derailing our referendum. They are taking our main objective away from us. We need to come back and look into these things. So I endorse all those conferences. The APNC should go on. They should have their conference. Nobody should stop them. Nobody should campaign against them. Their resolution should be drafted, and we need to see those things. The IG take them seriously. Ambazonians have been begging, and we are calling, and we are calling our leaders that Ambazonia need to become a contender. Ambazonia need to become a contender to become the next Israel. Americans are already supporting Ambazonia. We need to become a next state like the Israel government so Ambaz America can fall behind us. Listen, this is geopolitical move at the moment. America would like to have a strategic position like Southern Cameroon in Africa. In that angle of Africa, America would be so glad to position themselves there in between Cameroon and Nigeria. America want to be there. And America want a contender. America want a contender, and America want us to step up our game, step the leadership up. I beg our leaders, I beg Dr. Sako and the rest, Akwanga, um, Dr. Ayaba, um, Webban, everybody. America need a contender, and we are already looking like a contender to them. So we need to step up our game. We need to step up our game and become a contender. Because the referendum will not occur if we are not a contender. A referendum cannot be organized if we are not a contender. We shall not have independence if we are not a contender. It will not happen. It will not happen. And the, number, the most important element of being a contender is to be united. It should have a leadership. It should have a sense of, of organization. It should have an agenda, a program for the people of Southern Cameroon. We are talking about the lives of 8 million people. At the moment, the struggle is affecting 4 million individuals. 4 million. 
4 million. The UN, this struggle, this our crisis is the highest they have seen in Africa. Nothing like this before. Nothing like this they have seen before. And the case is very peculiar. And the referendum is already now on the table as the most peaceful option. As the most peaceful, peaceful option. So we need to go to that referendum call, that referendum call together with the, those people of federation. We cannot go without them. We need them along. And that is, my, that is where my journey with the federalists ends. Some Amazonians have been calling me and said, Eugene, we, we see that they might be deceiving you. Amazonians, listen, we know this. We know what they want. We know their position. It's there, clear. We keep it there. Now, what we are doing is that we take them block by block to our referendum. And after that, our journey ends. Mm -hmm. After that, they become the next republic to us. And we beat them on a referendum and we take our country. So we need to intensify the AK-47 campaign. We still need that one. And due to the scandals we have been hearing about money these days, it would be good that a genuine group come together, a genuine group come together, put this a national AK campaign together, and we mobilize this fund from country to country, and we get this money together. Those guys need sophisticated weapons. Sophisticated weapons to, to push this out of our, of, of our land. You know? So, recent research done by international institutions came out that Amazonians control 80% of our national territory. 80% is not 20. 80% is victory, my people. 80%. Even Mugabe didn't control 80% of his country when he was fighting against the British. He didn't. Even Mugabe did not. But we are in charge of 80% of our land. The, we have 80%. Listen, this is the fact. Ambazonia is gone. We are gone. We are no more with the Republic. We are gone. We are gone. So we should have no doubt. We should have no doubt. So I will slap this message now. If our people really love our people, I, it, it pains me to call names. It pains me to call respected people. Our lawyer should not go and defend Kamcho in Cameroon courts. Those people back home, when they are playing that romance with the Republic citizens, they are destroying us badly. They are doing it. They are doing it. We should distance ourselves from them. We should distance ourselves from those Cameroon citizens. Boycott their court sessions. Why our lawyers are going to defend Kamcho in court? For what? For what? How many Francophones lawyers have we seen defending Ambazonians in any court? But our people are so quick to go and defend them. Are we because we are the highest lawyers in the world? At the stage of thing, the struggle, Amazonians are gone. The time is over. France is, this is my takeaway message to Amazonians. France is now trying to get a replacement. Bia is out. We have defeated Bia. Everything Bia did has failed them. Bia is gone. Bia is gone. Now they want to replace Kamcho. How would they replace Kamcho with us? They need to use Kamcho to use us, destroy our struggle, put Kamcho the next president, and they keep their one Cameroon. They send this uh, partisan Nanga, what they call him, and some few others. They come and mingle the same, uh, they are safe around us. They go behind our backs, send documents to the UN. They go behind our backs, have second meeting with the UN and international diplomats to contest that the problem in Cameroon is not the southern Cameroon problem, it's the problem of the whole Cameroon. They were saying that we have the most developed part of the country more than the Francophones areas. These people are not our friends and Bazonians. They are our enemies. They are our enemies. All those, their so-called activists and their lawyers. 
Kawalai and the rest, all of them. They are preaching a message for one Cameroon, not even a federation. Our people have died. They raped our women, burned villages. We started our struggle alone. And now they want to stop up at the middle of it. Amazonians, we have gone so far. We have already become a contender in the eyes of the international community. And the level of mafia now is very high. They are using Cameroon, they are using some Anglophones, Amazonian citizens. But these people don't know, some of them know, to derail our struggle. They are using some of our own people to take us back. Some of our own citizens to derail us. Anybody who is going behind Camcho in Ground Zero, that person is taking our struggle to France. Anybody who is aligning with this partisan Nyanga, what is his name? They are taking us to France. We must distance ourselves from these people. We must run away from them. We must show to the international community that the two Cameroons cannot live together. It's not about the regime. There is a hatred, stagnant hatred, that these people see us as second-class citizens. They impose us to, to, be, to, be, to be assimilated. We must show it to them. We must show this out. We must bring this out. And this is the only condition for a referendum. The referendum is sitting on the UN table, but it cannot go forward. It's stagnant because of this. We must dismember ourselves from those like public agents. They are not well wishers. They are not, they, they are not sympathizers. They are working for the government of Cameroon and France to keep a united Cameroon. And the American people, the American government see Ambazonia as a contender. And they want to have a strategic position in Africa. If they see us as a contender, as a sword the people of Israel, the American government can fall behind us with their full weight and we become independent and they become our partner. We need to do this. We need to open our embassies in all of the countries in the diaspora. Ambazonian mission should be open. And it's coming this summer in, uh, in Finland. The Ambazonian national team will be playing in the African Nations Cup organized in the Nordic countries. I have made sure that is going to happen. I have made sure that is going to be a reality. We are going to print jerseys and we shall have Amazonian flag and perhaps we shall have a game against the Republic of Cameroon. We must be showing these things to the world that we are two countries. That we are two countries. Ambazonia should not be carried away with what is happening on ground zero in the Republic of Cameroon citizens. So we need to come together. We need to regroup ourselves. For the sake of this struggle, I beg on every Ambazonian. This is not a time to continue argument. This is a time that we need to come together. We need to come together as one people. We have had our differences. I believe that we must come together at this particular junction. We have a lot to agree on. When you look at the killings, when you look at the burning of villages, when you look at the suffering of our people, Ambazonians, this, are the, this, is, the, this is the time for us to come together as one and become a contender and obtain our optimal goal. Make no mistake, we shall work together with federalists only with the condition that we are fighting for a referendum for Ambazonia. And after that, we shall be on different camps. Make no mistake, we shall never be on any dialogue without certain conditions. We shall never have any referendum without our leaders being out, without the stop of war, without the Cameroon army out of our territories. It will not happen. We need to come together. We need to come together and put these facts on documents. We put our leadership together and we take this into the UN. We have already three countries 
and the list is growing. The others are observing. They are observing what is going on and they are silent. When they are silent, it's not because they don't have anything to say, it's because they have an interest. That is the language of diplomacy. If they didn't have an interest, they will speak against or in favor of the Republic. But they are silent because the world is looking at, at us as a contender. EU is looking at Ambazonia as a contender. That's why the EU is silent. They are watching. Because they see us as a better option of the of the dead regime of Cameroon that is slowly going down the dustbin of history. Ambazonia, we need to continue in this spirit. I pledge we all come together as one soonest. I pledge we all come together as one in the conference that is going on, that is coming up, um, uh, um, the APNC is coming up, and after that we have the all starting uh, the all starting coming up people general conference. We all come together as one and put our, our fundamental values together. We put our condition for the referendum together. We put our condition for, 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 for independence together. We must do this. And those on ground zero, we have to refrain from all the actions that have been going on against the struggle. We are now putting our people in between our struggle and the regime. Our people are now seen as a victim. We must convey that narrative of our people not being the victim, but to become the people who own the revolution. Our people are now being seen as a victim of their own struggle. We must change that narrative. We must change it. And also on social media, we cannot come online and expose all kinds of things on social media. The international community is watching. They are looking at every stuff. We come out and we do them there on, on, on social media. It's not the right way. These things are only taking us back. We have been calling. Our people have been begging. Reform the IG, reform the IG, reform the IG. Come together, create a collective platform for all Amazonians. We have been begging and we are begging and begging and begging. We need to come together. All the fight on social media and the, the exposing things on social media is only taking us back. We appear weak. We need to remain the strong container that we are in front of the international community at all times. And that means that we must do our things with protocol. We will not see the Cameroon government coming and, and putting things outside without their will. Like I said, there is, there is a movement run by the Francophones, sponsored by France against starting Cameroons. But they disguise as our friends. Now we know them. Now we must take measures. Now we must take steps to move away from these people because they are working for the enemy. Ambazonians be rest assured. Our referendum quest is on the table at the UN at the moment. But now we are at the very primary stage of this discussion. What type of referendum to be organized? And that is what we are talking on. And we need to come out and become a contender to push this thing forward. So Ambazonians, we are gone. Our independence is already there. It's just a matter of documentation. We are now in the process of formal documentation. We control 80% of our territory. Our land is ungovernable. All we need is documentation. This is a divorce. This is the phase of a divorce where the couples live together, they live apart, and they wait for their documents to, to be finalized. We are waiting for our documents to be finalized. We are already gone. We shouldn't go start to walk steps behind. No. Ambazonians, we are not going back. And this is why we must intensify our ground zero effort. I will, I will reach out to all the frontline movement. We need to get a united platform to, to, to make this national AK campaign. We know that Pache started the whole issue with the AGC. We want to support and continue this whole stuff, but we need to get everyone on board. So everyone needs to be on board. We need to intensify the national AK. I remembered in Finland, we raised 6,000 euros in a minute. 
We can come for a national AK in Finland and we can raise 30,000 euros. But we need to do it together. We can raise 30,000 euros in Belgium. We can raise 40,000 euros in France. We can raise 40,000 euros in, in England. In America, they can raise more than 40,000. Ambazonians have money. We have the resources, but we have the lack of trust of where to put the money. So we must come together so that we can destroy that lack of trust and put that money together. So, Amazonians, we need to come together. I like that Padia Sang is here. I give him a platform to come here and express his opinion. I appreciate that. And uh, I, hope, I hope Amazonians can start to see what we are facing at the moment. This is a time that we must understand who is sleeping under our bed. The struggle is now at the front where we have to understand that even your brother will be an enemy of the struggle. Your wife will become an enemy of the struggle. Your sister will become your friend. Because we are at the finish line. Now the race is very tough. So, Padilla Sang is, is really using this platform to, to express his opinion. I, I welcome him. Anyway, I welcome him. But we work together for a referendum and we shall defeat them at all times. So, Ambazonians, <clears throat> I want to categorically tell you all that our referendum is on the table at the moment. Number two, France is sponsoring La Republic activists and a group in La, from La Republic to sabotage our struggle. And Pasis Nyanga, Kamcho, and many others are in the league. We must know these things and we must distance ourselves from these people. We must become the next Israel. We must expose the Republic like the people of, 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 of Southern Sudan expose their regime. We must show that we are different people. We must show that the hatred runs beyond the regime. And that is what we need to do at this moment to get our, 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 our independence. Our independence is non-negotiable. Our independence is not a matter of, of, of debate. We are now on the documentation process and we shall get it and we shall go forward. I enjoy and I love the tenacity of Amazonians, our ground zero fighters, those in the diaspora. Let me make something very clear. No revolution has ever been run like ours. We are writing a new system of running a revolution. This revolution, there is no book you can read that can give you information about this kind of a revolution that we are running. That is why we have the mistakes that we are making. Because we are writing the history book for the next revolution to be fought in this manner. We have challenged the international system. We have questioned the legality of laws in the international community and the international humanitarian law. We have questioned the system and the definition of self-determination. We have rebranded, we have rebranded the issue and the subject of self-determination. That is why we are making mistakes. That is why we are making so many mistakes and big mistakes, Ambazonians, because we are running a special revolution that has never been run before. So it is not because we are incompetent. It's because we don't have any rule book to read from. And there's no books. So Ambazonia, we should become the next Israel. If you want to know what I'm talking about, go and find out what give the Israelites their independence. They become a contender and the American fall behind them in full weight. We are now already a contender. We have three countries looking, looking at us. We need the Americans and we need others. And that has to come with our own individual success. And we have achieved those successes so far in this revolution. We control 80% of our territory. Our land is ungovernable. And we have defeated the regime of Cameroon in a guerrilla warfare for, a warfare for two years. We have made big successes. We have achieved a lot, Ambazonians. And we are at the closing gate of this revolution. 
This is not a time to give up or this is not a time to look behind. If you want to look behind, we are not even looking behind to give up. We look behind to see how far we have come. How far we have come or we look behind not to look what is behind us. But to see how far we have come. And we must continue in this spirit. And take this struggle forward. So, um, Amazonians, it is not a joke. It is not a fake news. It is not a political propaganda. The referendum is on the table. And La Republic is running a serious campaign against this referendum. And we must know what is going on. And we must fight against. So, uh, my people, I thank you very much for those of you who have been here today with me on, on this information. And uh, I challenge those I have talked against today, Patrice Nyanga and all the rest, if they have anything, they should come on live and debunk. I will bring on them and I can expose them with documentation. If they want to see proofs and evidence of what I'm talking about. They know it. They will not argue. They know their jobs. They know their mission they have received from France. They sent the Cameroon Minister of Justice to come and talk to nurses on TV. That was a political move. They sent them to go and destroy the embassy of Cameroon in France by France. That was a political move. This is a never again generation, Ambazonians. And we, this people shall not fool us. They shall not deceive us. 1972 will not repeat itself and it will not happen. Not in our watch. So we are begging, we are calling, reform, reform the IG. We want a collective united platform for Ambazonians. We call for unity to become a contender. We cannot become a contender without unity. Everybody knows this. Everybody knows this. Everybody knows this. Without unity, we can never become a contender. You cannot become a contender when you have five, we have five governments. You cannot. We need to have one government. In 2016, I was supporting the government. I think we have a, We need a government at this moment. We need a government of Southern Cameroons. We need an interim government of Southern Cameroons at this moment. This struggle needs a government. It needs a government that will appoint citizens to be ambassadors in countries, open embassies, open embassies in countries and put ambassadors there. We need that at this moment, a government. That is backed by all. These are the conditions, the preconditions for, for, for our referendum. The preconditions to make us a, a, a contender. We need embassies. We need our own ambassadors that are citizens, that are elected, not elected. They are appointed by the government to represent them in their missions in the different countries. If there's an interim government, let's reform the interim government. Let us reform it. Let us reform the interim government. We need to reform the IG. So, I hope this month we're having these conferences. Next month, there's another conference coming up. We all, I really hope that we can achieve... Listen, Ambazonians, we need to come up with a united front by the end of April or March. It must, we need to come up with a united front in April. It is very important. Send this message and everybody must know. It is very important we have a united front. It is very important we have a united front by April. So, we must become a contender to win our independence. And that has to be done now. The killings are too much. The deaths are too, are too much. We need to unite and take this battle to the next level. So um, I know there are many Francophones. I don't want to call their names. You will not believe that they have reached out to me today, try to change the narrative for what I have to, uh, the information we have received about them, about their mission. Many will say it is fake news. Many will say it's propaganda, but because they know what they are doing, we have been fooled enough and we will not continue to fool them. 
So, Ambazonians must understand the name of the game now. The name of the game is that our we are fighting the entire Cameroon, not only Bia and his regime. Not only Bia and his regime. So, no Francophone person should be your friend or your, your comrade. None of them. None of them. So, um, I think I have been here almost an hour. I think I, will, I, will, I, I think I have said everything that I wanted to say. Um, I have even just said, I talked about some other things that I was not, uh, that I, I just find it necessary to talk about. So, thank you very much, Ambazonians. And uh, we shall be following up this issue. I will be bringing up updates about this referendum, how the process is going on. But at the moment, it, is been, it has been stopped because the, 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 the UN has received a document from France and Cameroon and the activists that the, the, the referendum is not valid in Cameroon because the issue is not about southern Cameroonians, it's about the entire Cameroon. That we need, the, the problem is the Cameroon problem, not the southern Cameroon problems. So we need to sort this out by coming out clearly with our leadership and put our voices out clearly. 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 It is not a Cameroon problem. We are talking about a Southern Cameroon problem in Cameroon. But they have sent documents to deny that, that a referendum is not applicable because it is not about a part of the country, but the whole country is affected. So we must know this and we must open our eyes. I know they are going to attack me heavily after this, this revolution, these things. I know. Even when I spoke about France last time at the France CFA, if you know the things the French did and how many of the stupid journalists called me to make stupid questions to me about the France CFA in, in Africa, they are going to attack me. They are going to come after me because this is something they never knew we are going to get it. But... Because of our contacts in diplomacy, we, we get the information. So, Ambazonians, we must take the war to them now, to all the Francophones. They are not our friends. They are not for our struggle. Don't be deceived. They are not. So, um, thank you very much, comrade, for being here today. And I will bring you update on this issue. I will bring you development on this issue because I think now they, they know that we have discovered their tactics and uh, they are going to, to, to come up with something else. They will come up with something else. And when they come up with something else, we shall, we shall, we shall see how they are going. But we need to prop ourselves together before April so we can close gap. We can close the, the, the possibilities of all these their games. We have to do it. Our people have died, a lot of our people have died, and we must take actions now to stop French manipulation, to stop manipulation from the Republic of Cameroon. We have to do it now. Now and now is the time. We need to do it. So, thank you all for watching tonight, and uh, I, I'm really happy with groups, with their works they are doing. Ambazonians are focused, and we are pushing forward, but don't be deceived by the devils, the devils, La Republic people, the devils around us, don't be deceived by them. Don't. Don't be deceived. Those who are organizing the, the, the APNC conference, if you invite any of those francophones, especially in Spartan Nyanga, you are killing yourself. This guy should be made clearly, he should be exposed for who he is. He is not an anglophone. He is not working for anglophones. He is working for his own regime and the French government. So, comrades, uh, thank you very much. And uh, I think I came. I am. I am now at the end of my presentation. As usual, we shall end with the anthem again. And we shall continue. But God will continue to bless Ambazonia. Our struggle will continue to go ahead. The devil is a liar. Our people will be free. The referendum is coming. And the referendum can never be stopped. Their manipulation shall never work. And we are gone.
Thank you very much, Ambazonia. Share the video. Let everybody watch and let's discuss. Let's get the narrative of what is going on now. This is our dialogue. Everybody must expose the enemy. I will challenge all the activists. Turn your attacks now from your fellow brothers and sisters. At face the francophones. Face them. So we shall have our anthem and then I will sign off for tonight. Hey, this land of glory, we the Amazonia, fresh loyalty. Praise the Son and Savior who granted us our freedom. Allegiance to the hero who bore the land with their blood. Glory to glory, we rise in never to fall. Yeah, in a nation flowing with milk and honey. Glory, glory, glory to the Father for making you a nation and joy forevermore. Ambazonia, land of freedom, you shall live in plenty, meet in our need, our need, and your children shall be like the stars above. The most I got be the watchman of the nation. Ambazonia, land of freedom. You shall live in plenty, meet in our need, our need. And your children shall be like the staff above. The most I got be the watchman of this nation. Thank you very much, comrades. God bless our motherland, Ambazonia. God bless our land of milk and honey. God bless our land that stands on the mountain hill that shines the light. God bless the new nation of Africa. God bless the nation of Africa that is going to reflect democracy. Ambazonia, the never again um, generation. We are free. Our independence is sure. Our referendum will never be stopped or manipulated by the French spies agents. Ambazonians, we have exposed them today and we must take it to them now. And our people must understand what I said tonight. They must understand what I said tonight. Without doing that, we will not get the referendum. We must expose that the regime is not a problem, but the entire Cameroon. That is the mission. Ambazonians, thank you. Good night and God bless Ambazonia. Shalom.